on it guys it is I don't know if you can see the time <laughs> it is at 6 20 a.m. on Sunday morning and we got our first match at 8 a.m. slept pretty well last night but seven hours of sleep was not enough after two days of playing lots of volleyball I'm only lightly sore today which is nice with having subs this tournament from not having to play every single match or at least not jump every single match and even though I'm not hungry I'm still gonna try to eat breakfast because we're gonna play back-to-back -back games and if we keep doing well only a one-hour break so we gotta fuel up I am not even hungry I considered actually when I looked at the food completely skipping breakfast because I'm perfectly fine playing fasted but playing back-to-back -back matches potentially three I'm definitely gonna need the energy so I'm just gonna force feed myself so that I won't be in a calorie deficit later look how empty this place is we've been playing so much PM wave that it's actually kind of peaceful playing with an empty court it's about that time you know one thing you might not know about the elevate poop program is you can use it as many times as you want and it's 100% off every single time. It's guaranteed results. Jump two inches higher. I think this is gonna be in about three minutes because it's, it's, it's a little turtle head coming out. It's all right, so we'll see you soon. A few moments later. I feel great. It's always a good sign when I can use the poop program right before the game. I feel like I emptied all that barbecue from last night. Now I'm ready to go. We had control in that third set, and then that 11 10 switch, we just couldn't pass the standing float. And they made a great adjustment. They were making a lot of service errors, and we we're passing their jump serve as well. And then they just thought, let's just keep it in play, make us play, and we couldn't come back. So that was a tough comeback. Got a ref now, but at least we got to support our local team, Bay Area Dimes. Hopefully, they can take the double A division. But if we won, we would have played them, and that would have been such a fun match. All the good ball ball really starts to happen. This is what I'm talking about, representing from Brazil. The crowd is starting to gather for the semifinals. into our second hotel. That was a crazy semi-final match versus Dimes. I forgot the name of that second team, but you know, even though of course I'm rooting for Dimes, I was hoping it would go to three just so we can see some more amazing volleyball. And they're gonna play in the finals at 3 p.m. So we're gonna get some lunch, rest up a little bit, get ready to watch some more top-notch volleyball. Let's see what the Marriott looks like. Look at this, fridge, safe, and we got a 
Fine young man chilling. This is super nice. Let's see what the bathroom. So modern. And a walk and shower. So cool, it's like a, a market. Lots of food options. I'm just craving something greasy and meaty. That is a lot of tater tots. So I got the bacon, crispy onions, cheddar, the classic lettuce, onions, tomatoes. We'll see how it tastes here. Let's take a first bite. The pickle. Mmm. That bacon is really good. The barbecue sauce is not overpowering. Now for the classic. Very juicy. Terry tots, dip and ranch. Crunchy. here for some more barbecue. All right, I always joke about Brendan fitting in small spaces because he's six foot seven. His knees are right on the table. <laughs> the Giants, this is what we ordered today. We're trying to peach cobbler, Mexican rice, chopped meat with some sauce, and pork rib, chopped meat. A little bit sweet, a pork rib. Ooh, that one's really good. Very smoky. <laughs> Mexican rice. It's okay, a little bit dry. Beach cobbler. That's good. Had my fill of barbecue before we go back to California. And my voice is completely gone. I think part of it is I feel like I, I try to be the most vocal one on the court, especially this tournament. I feel like there's certain games where we were really flat and we don't celebrate the small things like easy points, like when they miss a serve or there are mistakes. I feel like there are some times where we needed an energy boost and I would try to give more than I usually would. And that was just emotionally and vocally very tiring. And the other half is I probably talked to over 300 fans this weekend. So, and I really do do my best to try to like talk to each individual fan. But if you can imagine, that's a lot of conversations in three days. I'll do my recap now before I go home. All the thoughts are fresh in my brain. Actually, on a side note, the rest of my team is out at the players party. And I usually don't go to that. I went my first couple years at Nationals in 2016 and 17 but I think that's just not me. I think it's great when people will find enjoyment in that, so it's nothing against that. But I think I'm more introverted than extroverted at heart, even though I've chosen extroverted careers like teaching and coaching. But I enjoy just sitting in my room and either just hanging out with one person or just hanging out by myself, especially after such a socially demanding weekend. And I'm disappointed with our finish today. I think I mentioned that earlier during the day, but we just started off really flat and everyone showed up early to warm up and it looked like we were pretty good and we just mentally were not locked in and the other team did such a good job starting off really strong, hitting tough serves and getting their rhythm. And even though we came back pretty strong in the second set, that third set, you know, you don't, anything can happen in that third set to 15. Even though we're up, all it took us one or two serves that we couldn't take care of and then there you go. I was also disappointed in my hitting today for that first set. Usually I feel pretty confident in my tool, like tooling the outside hand of the right front blocker, but that guy did a good job turning the ball in every single time. And I felt like I was swinging wider and wider and he kept turning it back in. So there was like a couple of missed opportunities where I could have gotten some points for my team. And honestly, I just didn't feel like I was jumping very high today, even though I had a good warm up. You know, I'm, I, I'm constantly thinking about whether it's the limit of my age being 38 or whether it's how good of shape I'm in for these tournaments. 
and I kind of go back and forth between those thoughts. Um, but you know, I got to remind myself I'm recovering from an ankle injury. Actually, the inside of my ankle started hurting the second half of yesterday. Not to the point where I couldn't play, but I definitely started feeling some achiness and some little bit of intense pain here and there more on the bone. I think I got a little have a bone bruise from that ankle sprain and I think just playing on sport court for three days definitely helped aggravate that. You know, but the stubborn part of me refuses to accept that I am too old to continue to compete at this level and to jump higher. So I'm actually a little extra motivated to come back next year and increase my vertical and really dedicate myself to try to win double A. That double A finals was awesome. So special congratulations to our local team, Bay Area Dimes. They brought some great players um, to really fill out the roster. They did so well. So really good representation from the area of all ball we're in, Northern California. My goals, I want to be in that finals one day. And before I die, I'm gonna win the men's double A. That's one of my lifelong goals. But overall, I actually thought we played pretty well throughout this tournament, I don't think. Even though I'm disappointed with the result of today, I think overall it was actually a much better performance than last year's team, and maybe even a better performance than our 2019 original Tallwins group, which is a lot to say, because for those who've been following our channel, that group was really solid. And so things are slowly coming together for our team, and we just gotta keep putting that work in and, and continue to believing in our skills and, and work on being better with for each other. The nice thing is I don't have to fly out until 12.40 p.m. tomorrow and I'm probably just going to zone out, watch some videos on my phone and sleep in as best as I can. Felt really good to sleep in till 9 a.m. and just kind of lay in bed, watch some videos. Had a very relaxing shower in this beautiful stand-in shower while listening to the podcast by Andrew Huberman featuring Andy Galpin learning about recovery and muscle growth I was trying to advance my knowledge I don't really show a lot of body pics but one thing I'm really proud of is just how lean I've been able to stay just throughout the tournament and in the last couple months preparing for this even though you want to add muscle mass to improve your power potential when you have more muscle fibers to activate, you do want to find that fine balance of not carrying too much weight because all that impact from landing adds more stress to the body and helps you recover faster when you're just leaner. I'm going to take a relaxing walk in my flip-flops down the street to get some black coffee. I was going to fast, but I saw the sign that there's complimentary breakfast for all residents. Man, it's hard for me to turn down free food. A few moments later. So I found out that I just missed the mark by an hour. Right now it's 9.50 and it actually ends at 9. So a good thing for me that I don't have to resist the temptation. But luckily, they still got their coffee. So I don't have to pay any money for my coffee this morning. And I might take two packets of hot chocolate mix to enjoy with my wife tonight when we get home. Let's see what this view looks like this morning. It's been great weather in Dallas so far. People are telling me that it was gonna might be too muggy, but feeling pretty good. Now the fun part is figuring out a puzzle on how to pack everything back, how I put it. So I gotta get some actual coffee because coffee at the hotel was very watery. I was just drinking brown water. <laughs> as much fun as I had in Texas, it feels good to be back in the Bay. Got this nice cold breeze blowing against my face. And of course, always great to come home to my wife. Come here. She picked me up from the airport and I miss the Asian food. I'm lucky I'm married to a woman that loves Asian food. Even though it's 3 p.m. we found a all-you-can-eat hot pot place that's open right now. Hopefully it's good. Peeling sign, good sign. So it looks like more Chinese style hot pot, which is fine with me. We got the original broth and the spicy broth. And look at that fresh paste right there. Beautiful. Yes. Dip that meat in there. We got mussels, tofu, fish balls. We gotta try some of the beef. And we got the sauce here. Mm. Mm, that's what I'm missing right there. 
So this is like a dipping sauce, garlic, green onions, sesame oil, and this Chinese barbecue sauce called sa sa zheng. So what we do is you boil the meat in this delicious liquid. You dip it in there, tap it on the rice a little bit, and then you just... Mm. This is the real deal here. We got this fresh shrimp and fish paste. Look at that. Very few places serve frog legs, and frog legs are so good. The frog is ready. Such a good meat. Mm. Doesn't even need any sauce. If you want to know what it tastes like, it tastes like a sweeter version of chicken. It's softer and chewier. Highly recommend it. So they also have unlimited drinks. This is crazy. I'm trying to decide between grass jelly and this herbal tea here. I really love this herbal chrysanthemum tea or uh, chrysanthemum tea with honey. All right. Trying the gofata. Pretty yummy, huh? Yeah, I've had this before. I think Mandarin it's like chia da bao. Chia I don't know. It's good though. Alright, if you're in the area, Grand Hot Pot, highly recommended. What's your recommendation? Yeah? Yeah, yeah I liked it. Pretty good. Beautiful coast along Pacifica. Craving this, I cannot wait. All right, Donnie with an IE. T pumps to see what you're made of. Honestly, even if it doesn't taste the best, I think not having it in five days is just gonna taste amazing. It's not bad. It tastes like not much tea flavor, a little too much creamer. Boba is soft, but like I said, First milk tea in five days, so it's gonna taste better than normal, but probably won't be coming back here. Always feels good to come back home to my kitties, my wife, and just my own space. My Achilles tendon feels really fresh. It doesn't feel sore at all. You know, part of it, I think there's three parts of it actually. The first one is the strengthening that I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of low level plow metrics as part of my warm up, and I try to do that about three or four times a week. Just some low hops and skips for longer periods of time so you build that, that tendon stiffness. And then I've been taking that upper echelon nutrition collagen supplement pretty much every time before I play volleyball. And then the ghost sleeves, calf sleeves have definitely helped with the recovery aspect. So I actually am very surprised at how good my body feels. Like I don't even feel that sore, just a little tired, you know, muscles feel worked, but I remember in all the previous nationals, I would just feel so blasted. And it's probably a big part of it is I'm not jumping and spiking every single game. I was able to take two games off this tournament and it made a huge difference. And also we had other great hitters on the team and our offense was pretty spread out. So I didn't have to carry as big of an offensive load. My feet, however, do feel really sore. So I gotta solve that problem next on how to reduce that because I wake up, I step on the ground and my feet just feel like they've been hit. <laughs> so gotta figure out why that is and how I can lessen that. Already set myself some higher goals for next year and that I'm gonna start working on this summer for tournaments, but especially I need to generate more power on a shorter distance runway because at tournaments we play on smaller courts. Um, some of the bigger games where we play on the main court, I have no problem hitting hard because all my momentum is coming from a big approach. But when we play on the smaller courts, I'm not hitting as hard and getting aces and I'm not going as on longer runs. So I need to work on generating more power from that. My blocking is still a pretty big liability and I think I've ignored it for a long time. It's not that I don't value it, but when I practice, I'm usually working on passing and hitting and serving and defense, but I need to really increase my blocking game, work on soft blocking, help blocking the middles more, and maybe getting one more stuff block per game or even two more soft blocks per game will make a huge difference for my team. And I need to bring back my higher swing I know how to do it. I felt like I was able to do it on command before the pandemic, but I think after taking a two year break from high level volleyball um, and just working on my hitting with no block, my angles got better, but my high swings were not as available as I wanted them to be. 
and I got blocked a lot more than I wanted to. Usually I have no problem dealing with that big block. Bring that high flat shot, tool off the higher hands and swing into that deep corner again. Thank you, Brent, for not getting COVID this year. Last year was just very disappointing. Even though it is fun playing libero here and there, I was looking forward to hitting and being like spending all year prepping to be a hitter and then not being able to hit was pretty frustrating last year. So this year, finally be able to hit again against a really good teams was, was very redeeming, I would say that. Now, I have a question for you guys if you made it this far in the vlog. Is this team better than our 2019 USA Nationals team? If you don't know about that team, that was kind of the original Tall Ones group, check out all those USAV 2019 games. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I won't share mine right now. I'll probably share it in a later post. But Brant and I were talking about which team was better and we have an idea, but I wanted to hear from you guys first. It was great playing with John again. If you guys remember from the vlog, he moved to New York and our regular setter for this year, Ben Vanderloot, wasn't able to make national. So we're really lucky to have John sub for us because we already have a great connection. And he's one of the best defensive setters I know. And even though he's only five foot nine, he's a pretty good blocker and he wins every single joust and he just so scrappy he runs all over the court has incredible energy and you notice that we didn't even need a sub for him this guy has like unlimited energy before i go to bed i just want to say thank you to all the fans that were so nice and came up to say hi and just share about how my videos have impacted them and i just it never gets old like i, I made those videos seven eight years ago just trying to help people and I never would have imagined that it would have helped so many people all around the world. I even had people from Venezuela who were playing at the tournament say hi and talk about how they watched me growing up and now are playing at the USA. So thank you so much for just being great fans. I'm already excited to train for next year and we'll see all of you at USAV 2024. I had to get a real milk tea sunripe boba here in Union City because yesterday's boba was just not very good. Mm. That's more like it. <laughs>